my name is Molly, I'm for the 10x10 team this year. The theme this year was dreams, and I decided to make a journal, show you guys how to make a journal, and um, you can do anything you want in here, including um, showing your dreams and stuff like that. So the stuff you're going to need is scrap of paper, a pencil, scissors, needle and thread, or you can substitute this by using a staple if you don't have needle and thread, a thumbtack, and paper. Now, the amount of paper you use depends on how big you want your journal to be. For this journal, I use 10 pieces of paper, and since they're all folded in half, it's going to be 20 pieces of paper in here. In other books and stuff like that I've made, I used um, 24 pieces, so I have 48, so it all depends on how many pages you want. So the second step is going to be to cut your scrap of paper to the same size as your pieces of paper. And the third step is going to be to fold your cover and all of the pieces of your paper in half. So next you're going to place all the folded pieces of paper inside of each other and then place all of those inside of your cover. So it creates a kind of little booklet. Next what you want to do is you want to go inside the booklet to the part where it isn't, where you can't see any of the folds, you can only see the little line. And you're going to mark how far you want your um, the in-betweens of your sewing to be. Or if you're using a staple, you can use the little legs of the staple and you can measure that way. I usually do about a half an inch. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to actually sew or insert your staple. If you insert your staple, you just put the little legs in and then you close them on the other side. But if you're sewing, then you just um, loop it round and round through the little holes that you've made for each of the two sides. All right, and then you fold it in half and then you're pretty much done. That's your finished journal. Um, if you want to cut these little sides off, than you can, but I don't really mind it. I'm going to show you some examples that I've done for my journal. This first example I have is of a spread I did for class, which is what classical music reminds me of. The next one is the filmography of one of my favorite directors, and I put down um, the movie and what who acts in it and um, if I'd seen it or not. The next spread I did was of my favorite author and all of the books he's published. And the final one that I've done is I put down my favorite poem, I cut it out, I use my old typewriter. You can really get creative with these kind of things. Again, my name is Mom. I'm with the 10x10 team. Thanks for watching. Again, if you want to check out our digital expo, you can go to the Art Museum's website. There's also some other videos and stuff like that coming up.